Hello, collective. Welcome back to my platform. Thank you for watching, as always. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to our amazing channel so that we can continue to grow. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families, as always. Okay, really quickly. I return to source, I return to sender, all negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light. As I have said, oh wait, as I have said, so shall it be. Okay, whatever the enemy has stolen from you is being returned to you. It is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled and being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. We have 44 out here. Four is the number of protection and support from divine energies, um, spiritual beings. Um, and eight is the number of abundance, infinite blessings from the most high that no one can take from you. Okay, it so says your angels are encouraging you to continue on your Present life path with diligence and determination, and even greater success will come in the future. I am supported. Okay, let's go ahead and find out what in the name of source is going on here. So we have the wheel of fortune in here, which means balance is being brought into some type of situation. There is some type of plan, some type of action being taken. Um, someone with ulterior motives may be planning something. Oh, this is something these people were planning is to trap you in some type of uh, company, some type of position, or hinder your uh, resources so they could trap you in something. Someone out there, be absolutely careful, be cautious, because someone wants to come into your energy with ulterior motives so they can present you with some type of work opportunity that is not genuine. It is all a plot behind the scenes by a group of people to come to have someone come into your life walk into your life and give you some type of offer just to just to uh trap you keep a hold of you however this is not going to come into fruition spirit is revealing this to you so you can be mindful these people have been planning stuff behind the scenes for a long time but everything they do is not working out and this is one of their last moves that they're doing sending in this fake work offer these are people that will get online and you know create fake websites uh, create these fake companies that are not even registered with the, uh, um, the, the, the state or anything like that. The country, nothing like that. It's not a legitimate business. This is what they do. They create fake websites, fake businesses. You go and apply and you show up for the interview and things like that. Or they come into your life, um, and present you with a false opportunity only for you to find out that you are trapped in something you cannot get out of. Uh, so spirit is telling you to be mindful of these types of energy coming towards you. There is absolutely a plot. There was also a plot to have you trapped. So this is like someone dismantling your life and your resources, your finances and things like that. This is like you working a job thinking you're secure within that job only for the owner of that company to dismiss you without any cause. And you know, at will employment, they can do that. They can do that. They can dismiss you without any cause. Um, if they feel like they, they want to let you go, they can let you go. They don't have to give you any reasons, right? That's what at will employment are. Um, so this is something someone is either plotting or was plotting, um, to have you feeling like, oh, you know, we're working with you. We really appreciate everything you do. You know, you're secure with us and things like that. And then they were supposed to come in and surprise you and say, hey, we are letting you go because, you know, uh, we don't really uh, need the extra hand or we don't really need your services anymore or we already have someone that is doing this or we don't need this many people in this department. So we are going to have to let you go. This is something that we're planning. You may even have a queen of pentacles in here. This could be someone's wife, mother, whatever this is, uh, that may want to come in and extend you some type of uh, friendship, something of that nature. Whatever this is, honey, it's not something that you want to be a part of, okay? Spirit is guiding you to move on with your life. Stay, keep your mind on positive energies because these kind of people, they're, they're really, I don't know, they're hopeless. 
these are hopeless people okay these are just people that are hopeless it's like a lot of these people are trapped in something they cannot get out of they're trapped in some type of old paradigm of doing things of how things used to be a time that's just never coming back and never it never will come back okay there's something where it's like an organization has control over a lot of people places and things but you could be in an environment where they don't have control of you so around you they control everybody but you and the most high has it said this way you are being reminded that you are free to be you you are being free to be you or you are free to be you you don't belong to anyone no one is allowed to bond you to anything you are a free will being you're very pure hearted kind nurturing healing and things like that uh, so you are being given the opportunity to move on with your life and remove yourself or spirit is removing you from these people's energy there is some type of prophecy that has come into fruition for these people people they are stuck they don't know which way to go they don't know what to do everything they're planning is not working so they're trapped in some type of situation they just cannot get out of there's some type of toxic i don't know if this is a relationship or some type of toxic dynamic amongst a group of people they're going through some type of financial insecurity because they invested their time and energy and finances resources into the wrong thing and when i say the wrong thing this means you they were investing in causing you an ending dismantling your life blocking the union blocking some type of abundance blocking communications and things like that uh all of this is going to be undone i'm telling you it's going to be undone into in divine timing these people thought that they had you blocked but it looks that you are recovering you're not blocked you're free to be right you're not broken hearted this is what someone wanted to do to you was break your heart is that you trust either an employer or friend family member or something and they and they betray you they want to keep you trapped in your mind but you're not okay you're not trapped in nothing this is what they're finding out. Someone may be feeling that like you played some type of mind game with them, but the whole time, they weren't the ones who were playing mind games with you. I'm telling you, these people are trapped in something they cannot get out of. They were wanting to trap you in some type of company, some type of position, something like that, or just dismantle you to the point where you're not able to move forward, flourish in life, start a new beginning, things like that. It's not happening in reverse they're the ones going through this they're trapped and stuck in something they cannot get out of it's absolutely horrendous it's like nobody saw this coming they didn't expect things to play out this way it's like they had everything lined up to go a certain way but it didn't play out that way and you have to always keep that in mind when you're taking actions against people that haven't done anything to you solely out of greed jealousy envy bitterness and insecurities that's all this is so when you all get together and start planning someone's downfall, you need to make sure that you have the ability to make these judgment calls. You have the authority to make these judgment calls. You don't have it, apparently. That's why you all have martyred yourself. You've, you've uh, trapped yourself in something you cannot get out of, okay? Whoever you are coming after is not trapped. They're not trapped in nothing. It's like there's a rude awakening taking place for someone that's a narcissist behind the scene i mean someone was determined collected to take you down someone was determined to take you down and now they're saying oh this person knew the whole time what we were doing what we were planning right this is why we're not able to take them down they play me someone feels that you play them even though they were planning to end you destroy your life destroy your pathway but it seems that you and your ancestors and angels beat that person at their own game. So now they're upset. Someone can, cannot like bind themselves to you anymore. There's some type of ritual someone does behind the scenes to bind people to them. You're not binded to this person. They've binded themselves to some type of institution, some type of commitment to a woman, right? And now they're upset. They're realizing, oh, wow, all of these actions that I took this whole time was really just keeping me stuck. I was literally taking actions to block myself, to dismantle myself, okay, to end myself. I'm telling you, every action they took was just going to lead to this. But someone had them under some type of delusion if they kept going that they would be able to destroy you trap you capture you 
Like these people want you living in some type of fear, unable to turn to anyone for help. They've turned to your family members and had them turn on you, friends, strangers, frenemies, acquaintances, associates, whatever you want to call them. They've paid a whole lot of people to turn against you and all these people know what's going on and they're all pretending like they don't know. Little do they know that you already know how they operate. So someone is finding out that the whole time you knew what was going on and they are embarrassed. But besides their embarrassment, they're more pissed off because they feel like you outdate them. You beat them at their own game because someone takes, pr I'm telling you, they're embarrassed Someone takes pride in their manipulation tactics. Someone takes pride in dismantling people's lives because he's he or she is bitter. Bitter will do anything for money. Anything for money. Okay? Someone is absolutely embarrassed behind the scenes. And then you have other people in here that even though things are going haywire, they still want to keep going. They still want to come in to gaslight. They still want to come in to pretend like they want to give you a genuine friendship. But you see through all of these people. So I don't even see the point of them coming in to breadcrumb you. For what? For what? Like, it's that we see what you're doing. We know what you're doing. So why are you coming? What's the point of you forcing it? There are people walking away from this group and then there are people that just are throwing a fit because they're not getting what they want. Things are not going the way they had it planned. Someone has something all vision out. It said, well, this is going to happen after we do this. This is going to happen after we do this. We're going to do this. We're going to do this. We're going to do this. And everything is going to go according to plan. And nothing did. Nothing did. Someone has ancestors where they will sit back and let the enemies plot. Plot, 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 plot. Plot all they want. And once they take that initiative to take action, that's when their person ancestors step in and say, I don't think so. Yeah, all of that stuff you were doing was cute. It was real, real entertaining. Right? Sit down. So there's someone behind the scene for in a fit because you're having a new beginning. And they know that you're going to have victory. They know things are going in your favor. They know you. they can't do anything to stop you. Someone is not able to bind themselves to you anymore. They're not able to keep you trapped in your mind, confuse you. All the rituals are not working. It's not working. They want you to feel like you, you were just, you know, rejected, isolated. No one wanted to be around you. They thought they had blocked all of your avenues. It's like they were trying to limit your path. They said you can either go this way or go this way. And you said, no, nope, I'm just going to go straight. I don't care how dark it looks. I'm going to go through this dark night of the soul's journey. And that's what you did. And by doing that, you ensure your own freedom. You ensure your destiny to be fulfilled. The will of fortune is out here, which means balance is being brought into the situation. In divine timing, these people are going to realize exactly what they've done. They may actually be going through all of this trauma, this conflict behind the scenes. It's a lot of source out here. So these people are trapped in their mind about all of these rituals they've been doing. And someone still wants to go and do more rituals. Even though it's not working, it's not going to work. They still want to keep doing rituals. This is how dumb some of these people are. We're going to keep doing the ritual. And someone in here is telling them, I, I'm not doing this anymore. I'm leaving. Someone is walking away. They're like, this stuff is not working. It's not going to work. We've been coming after this person this whole time, thinking that we're being sneaky and things like that. And all we've done is destroy our finances. All we've done is destroy our connections, our networking opportunities. We've destroyed our own lives. This person is still fine. How are we trying to destroy someone and they're walking out here fine? Like nothing is going on. Not losing sleep. Nothing. Still dreaming. Still having uh, uh, the time of their lives. Calm and relaxed. Relaxing while we're having chaos behind the scenes. How? Because the magic is not working. It was never meant to work. So they can do all the rituals they want. All the mind games. I see a lot of mental cards out here. Which means this is the tactic these people use. 
manipulation. They manipulate people around you. They manipulate the people that are working with them. And all it led to was self-destruction. Someone literally pressed the red button that says self-destruct. And that sucker said, as you wish. As you wish. But whoever you're coming after is protected. Protected. They may be having a... Yeah, they have someone coming into your energy to give you some type of business opportunity, job opportunity. It's not a genuine offer, just like I stated earlier. Someone is coming in to give you some type of work opportunity. It's not genuine. There's going... There's something where you, I'm telling you, it's not genuine. It's to leave you out in the cold. To interfere with your, your stability, your forward movement. I mean, they're going to come in and sell it. The sales speech is going to be on point. And this is all to get you to walk away from something so that you can end up in poverty. It's a whole plan. This is a ritual. And this is someone sending this masculine into your energy. And they're waiting for the right time to come in. It's not going to work. Stay vigilant. You are protected from this mess. Source wants you to know you are protected. I'm telling you, this is to end your comfort. This, to, this is to end your stability. This is to end you. So that you can end up in another binding contract or in some type of deplorable condition uh, agreement with, an, with a toxic person. Toxic. This is how this person moves. This is how they've been able to trap other people with them. They're not able to trap you for some reason. Oh, we know why. You're genuine. Yeah, you're genuine. You're a healer. You may be an angel in human flesh. You're angelic. They're not meant to trap you. Someone is operating above their pay grade. This is like a first year witch trying to come after a freaking high priestess, a higher fence, a temperance energy. It's like sit down somewhere, you rookie. Someone operates solely off of ego. You can have a big billboard sign in front of them in front of them with proof that they are not going to succeed. But their ego is going to tell them we need to keep going. Before they know it, they're in this predicament. And this is what's up ahead of whoever's coming after you. This is what's up ahead of them. And your angels want you to know you're protected. You're secure. You are secure. You may have someone in here that wants to ask you for forgiveness. I don't know what the heck that's supposed to do for you. Right. I don't know what that's supposed to do. You have a whole lot of people in here. There was supposed to be some type of relationship. They interfere with it. Someone's family. I don't know if it's his mother, his ex-wife. I don't know who this is. His ex, some feminine energy. Uh, uh, interfere with a relationship that was supposed to come together. If it's meant to be, it'll come back around when it's supposed to. He may have chosen to go with the wrong person and now he is deciding to walk away from that person. Okay? It said, we've done all of this stuff and told him not to go to this person. And he is still pushing forward to go have victory with this woman. What the heck is wrong with him? Why is he doing this? Hmm? So whatever this is, if it's a, I'm telling you. Someone is putting an end to making the wrong decisions. All of these interferences and things like that, they're putting an end to it. There is some type of change, sudden change that took place that people were not expecting. Someone, Something came to an end abruptly. And it's like, wait, what the heck? What, what do we do? Where do we go from here? Where do we go from here? What do we do? What, what does this mean? What's going to happen to me? What's going to happen to us? I can't lose my home. I can't lose my car. I can't lose my job. Someone is losing their job. <laughs> Someone is losing their job. Someone is losing their home, relationship. Someone is losing everything. Everything. Someone is losing everything. 
and someone a masculine masculine is walking away from a feminine energy that gaslights. She plays with people's emotions. She pretends to care. All she cares about is finances. That's all she cares about is finances. Meanwhile, you're going through some type of rebirth, new beginning, taking charge of life, speaking your truth, and they're embarrassed and they're going through loss. Okay? Something is being rebirthed, brought back to life with, for you. Okay? This is, man, this kind of commitment, if these types of people will commit themselves to uh, 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 their own destinies, can you imagine the things they could accomplish? If they will invest this amount of energy into themselves, man, the amount of abundance, the amount of joy, happiness, fulfillment they will have will be stupendous. But people like these, <laughs> these kind of people, you kind of have to, you have to let them learn things the hard way. It says the child that does not listen feels, and these people are feeling it. They're about to feel it even more. Okay. Someone knows that you see them exactly for who they are. You have crystal clear. Uh, 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 um, a crystal clear understanding of them. They're not able to come in and cloud your judgment. They're not able to come in and deceive you. You see this work opportunity here. What does this say? Is the the six of cups, six of swords is in the reverse meaning they cannot come towards you. They're not able to come in and deceive you. Their resources, they're having a hard time recovering their resources. Someone is stuck. Someone does not know which way to go. When is my money coming in? Do I have money coming in? This is something they didn't see about this ritual they were performing against you, that things would turn out this way. Say, so, oh, make sure they get no money, they don't get love. Someone got their wish fulfillment they interfere with your love, uh, your love life. You were supposed to have a genuine connection with someone, and they successfully interfere with that. However, they didn't realize it would interfere with your finances. So you lost love. They lost their finances, and guess what? They lost more than you did. They don't know how they're about to pay bills, take care of themselves, what the future looks like. The future looks bleak for them. They're having a hard time recovering, healing. They say, I wish I would have never done this. Why did I do this? Someone is burdened. Burdened. And the truth is out there. The truth is they're having a hard time healing. I'm telling you, there's a narcissist in here. And they know you know. They said this person knew the whole time what we were doing. And they just sat back, sat back and let us make a fool out of ourselves. Yep, yeah, you all thought it was funny. You don't want to laugh anymore. I'm telling you, resources in they've lost a lot. Their abundance, everything. There's a false empress in here that's having a hard time healing. She's not able to move forward. She's not receiving an opportunity. She's caused too much drama, too much conflict. Someone pretends to be holier than thou. And she's going through the ringer. This could be someone's wife, someone's mother, child's mother. She's going through the ringer. She's not able to move on. She's not able to heal. She's not able to heal. This is the person that looks down on other people. Telling you, yeah. This says everything you need to know about this person. The truth is being shown to you about her. She's not healed. This is not someone interested in healing. Things like that repulse her. She's a thief. This is someone that sneaks and does things behind the scenes. And then plays to be in the upright. In the open. This is someone that's into some type of dark form of magic. 
dark form of magic. She manipulates very well around her. Everybody is under some type of manipulation. Everybody is under some type of manipulation. If she has a son, a daughter, they're under manipulation. Husband, under manipulation. She's under some type of delusion herself. So everyone, including herself, is being manipulated by her. Imagine that. She's delusional. So that's a form of self-manipulation. Hmm. Look at that. So she's a narcissist too. Lord have mercy. This is a combination for disaster. A recipe for disaster. Okay? A recipe for disaster. This makes no sense. This woman may have some each legal issues coming in. And she's going through some type of tower she was not expecting. But that's going to lead to your... Uh, 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 um, your journey, being, your, your pathway being clear. You being able to move on with your life. And this is judgment. Someone is going through the ringer. If she's not going through it now, this is what's coming up. And she's there trying to block her karma. You can't block this kind of stuff. Oh no. Oh no. You cannot block this kind of stuff. This is what you asked for. This is what you came for. So that's what you're going to get. That is what you're going to get. Okay? This is what you're going to get. It, it, it makes no sense. As soon as something, like things are being moved in the right direction for you, this is what they've been doing. As soon as things are moving in the right direction for you, they go and do rituals to block it. And Source has been sitting back and watching them to see how long they're going to do it, how committed they are. And they've been very much committed. So now the spirit realm is just as committed to dismantling them. Is it just like you were committed time after time to destroy this person's path? That's how committed we are to bringing balance into this situation. So now the, the spirit realm, this is like a ritual they're carrying out. Tick for tact, tick for tact, tick for tact, tick for tact. Everything, they're losing it. Someone, people are walking away. In this group, there are people that are walking away and then there are people that are still stern, dumb enough to keep going. It said, we just keep trying, we'll succeed. You're not going to succeed. You are not going to succeed. They may be trying to turn against uh, one of their own now. Things are moving in his favor. Balance has been brought in this situation. They try to end someone who's loving. They try to end a masculine. And the, that person is being protected. They did all of this to end someone so they wouldn't be able to come into your energy and give you an offer. What's meant to be will be. So in divine timing, it's going to be. And something is being kept a secret from these people they don't know. Can you imagine taking all of this time, this effort, Putting in all of this work to block someone only to realize you blocked yourself. They say, oh, they cannot come together. I don't want them to have love. I don't want them to have stability. I don't want them to have happiness, joy, anything. And Source sat back. Source said, oh, so you're trying to block what I've, what I've destined to be. Are you trying to say you're, you know more than I know? You're trying to tell me you know more than, more than I know. Okay. So Source allowed these people to interfere with a connection because it's not time yet for these two to come together. The time is coming. But it said, oh, so since they cannot come together, you lose your money, you lose your house, you lose your car, you lose your family members, you lose your dog, your cat, you lose everything, your health, you lose that too. Someone is sick in here. Someone is sick in here. 
Somebody is sick in here. They're having a hard time recovering. And they're living in fear. They know their money is about to be funny, shaky, shaky for a long time. Curse is the ground these people walk on. The ground these people walk on are cursed. Nothing you touch will ever be fruitful. Nothing any of you touch will ever be fruitful. You are binded to this situation for the rest of this lifetime. It will take you four lifetimes each to work off this karma. You are cursed from this day forward. Every last one of you, cursed. And this is judgment. And it is final. It cannot be undone. It will not be undone. You are cursed. This is crazy for people to be this dedicated to trying to destroy one person. Because you're able to manipulate and bind other people to you, you come across someone you're not able to bind. You get entitled to their energy and things like that. So you feel like you got to do things around them to dismantle their life and things like that. Now you realize you've dismantled your own life. You have endings coming in. You've cursed yourself. All of you are cursed. You've cursed yourself. Some of you are about to be out on the street begging for money. Begging. Having to live off of welfare for the rest of your lives. If you can even get that. Some of you are about to be homeless. Sick. Passing away from diseases. Struggling to find love. Genuine connections with people. Being rejected by the very community that you gather up to destroy someone else's life. Curse is the ground you walk on. Okay, we have 1212, which is six. Um, and it comes out to another. Wow, look at that. <laughs> Stay focused on your best possible future and remain optimistic throughout the entire journey. Your angels are right behind you as you turn your dreams into reality. I am focused. Nine. Um, so six over there, you're moving forward. Something is done. Completion. Think the past for your lessons and leave it where it belongs. So you can make the best of the life that is still waiting to be fulfilled by only you. I am unique. Okay, 333. Three, three. Honey, the, the repetition today. You are being called upon to use your spiritual gifts as a light worker, assisting all of humanity. Live your truths and be a positive light to others. I am powerful. 888. As you focus on all the wonderful things that surround you, you're clearing the path for more positive energy to flow into all areas of your life and create a place for abundance. I am abundant. Okay, another eight, eight. Another eight, okay. You are the cups of, or you are on the cups of a prosperous and abundant spiritual life. You will find numerous opportunities for success and achievement, all of which bring financial and material abundance into your life. I am wealthy. Hallelujah to the collective. You are focused. You are unique. You are supported. You are powerful. You are abundant. You are wealthy. And guess what? Your enemies, they are cursed for life. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. Stay blessed and goodbye for now.